Hi, welcome back to the political science tutorial. Today, in this video, we are going to study and understand normative and empirical theory. Now, before we begin with the normative theory, we just need to understand one point. That is, an important distinction is made between the two types of political theories. These are normative, which is also called prescriptive and empirical, which is also called descriptive theory. So let us begin with normative theory. Now the normative theory is a general way suggests the method by which an imperfect political or social order could be made perfect. The thinkers are primarily concerned with political values which are to be implemented in order to achieve harmony, stability and utility in common political life. All the idealist school of political thinkers from Plato to Bosanquet fall in this category. This thinker believes that peace and harmony is the only way which might help to overcome numerous obstacles. Therefore, Plato's Republic, Rousseau's social contract and others' works are the example of normative type of theory. In short, the normative approach starts with certain ideas or assumptions or values. It focuses attention on ethical questions or value with reference to the good order of society. In short, normative approach is prescriptive and value loaded. In simple words, normative approach or normative theory stress more on values, norms in the society. Following are the main features of the normative approach. First, idealistic and prescriptive. Second, value-oriented approach. Third, optimistic and utopian. Fourth, institutional, formal and legal approach. And last, dominated by philosophy and history. Now, let us discuss each feature in detail. First, idealistic and prescriptive. In idealistic and prescriptive approach of normative theory, the emphasis in this approach is on norms and ideas. It does not concern itself with things as they are. It does not adopt a realistic view of political action and institution. It prescribed certain forms of conduct rather than described events or facts. And last, this approach has inclined to ignore what is and give more importance to what should be. Point number two, value oriented approach. Normative thinker emphasized ethical and moral values such as good, bad, just, unjust, and etc. It is a value loaded approach. It is more concerned with setting standards for organizations and governance of society. Point number three, optimistic and utopian. Normative theory are based on the assumptions. It believes that a better system is possible. Example, 
Plato's concept of ideal state. Point number four, institutional, formal and legal approach. Here, normative approach suggests that political science is the study of state and government. In this approach, it studies the formal legal structure of political system. Example, study of the origin of the state, function of the state, structure of the government, provision about the rights and etc. And last, dominated by philosophy and history. From Plato, Aristotle to Rousseau, they all used philosophical deductive method in adopting the normative approach to make political inquiries. Now let us move to evaluation of the normative approach. The normative approach to the study of a politics has its advantages as well as disadvantages. Following are the drawbacks in this approach. First, ideas. Theories formulated by philosophers cannot be verified. Most of the theories are based on assumption. It has no historical evidence. Second, too much theoretical. Political philosophers more emphasized on philosophical principles than reality of politics. Hence, there is a gap between the normative theory ideal world and real world. And last, philosophers have not researched a universally accepted definition of the term philosophy. Following are the some of the advantages of this approach. Point number one, normative principles are a source of a guidance for empirical researchers and provide their studies with purpose. Point number two, normative theories reminds us to seek the good in life such as justice, morals and etc. Now let us talk about empirical theory. The empirical or descriptive theory is primarily concerned with the things like state structure, political process, etc. as they are. The argument is that political institutions and political process have to be described with as much scientific accuracy as possible. And this type of study may be based upon observation. Well, in the 20th century, political scientists were unable to find solution to real-life political problems. At this stage, the interest in philosophical speculation declined. Therefore, in the beginning, the empirical approach was viewed as a supplement to the normative approach. But later, in 1940, this approach monopolized the study of politics. Following are the famous political scholars and thinkers. Graham Walsh, Arthur Bentley, Charles Merriam are some of the famous empirical scholars and thinkers who continue to explore the empirical political theory. Now try and understand the important features of the empirical approach. First, empirical approach is also called modern approach. Second, it also stressed upon scientific methods to understand the politics. Third, it talks about value-free approach. Fourth, it also stressed upon interdisciplinary approach. Fifth, it is also called descriptive. 
Six, it emphasizes on informal process of politics. And last, empirical approach is also known as realistic approach. So now let us talk about the first feature of empirical theory, which is modern approach. Empirical approach emerged in the twentieth century. It can be traced back to the earliest days of political thought with Aristotle's. classification of constitution machiavelli's realistic account of statecraft and montesquieu's theory of government and law empirical approach also monopolizes the study of politics hence in that sense it is called modern approach now let's talk about second feature stresses scientific method so as i have already mentioned above empirical theory also stress upon the scientific method of understanding politics and society therefore it studies political processes using scientific techniques such as survey research observation experiment measurement and etc example a normative approach to the election studies would be emphasized on philosophical as to why people should vote whereas Empirical approach would conduct survey and interview of voters to find out actual voting process. So to conclude this point, the goal of empirical approach is to develop a science of political behavior with the help of scientific methods which we have discussed above such as survey, research, observation, experiment or measurement. Now, let us talk about the third feature which is value free approach. The empirical approach does not bother with morals, ethics and values. It is a rational approach. It restricts itself to what is and rather than what ought to be. And therefore, it draw a line of difference between the facts and the values therefore this approach is also called value free approach now let us move to the next feature which is interdisciplinary approach empirical theory is also known for interdisciplinary approach it believes that while studying the political issues social science like sociology psychology and economic would play more important role it believes that political behavior of a man is only one aspects of his total behavior therefore interdisciplinary study would help political analysis to understand and human behavior and society the best example to understand this approach would be to study voting behavior of the people we should study one's loyalty to caste religion and political party The next feature is descriptive. It means it seek to analyze the behavior of individual and a state and explain it accordingly. Whereas normative approach is constrained to prescriptive, which means it will make judgment and offer just recommendations. Whereas descriptive part of empirical approach talks about overall behavior of individual who are a very important part of the state and hence it would explain it with the descriptive nature the next emphasis on informal process of politics here empirical approach it puts greater emphasis on the informal process of politics and less on political institutions because scientifically the informal process of politics involves a greater actors and a wider scope to analyze the behavior of individual as well as society within the framework of empirical theory and last realistic this theory are not based on assumption like normative theory but on the facts let me explain this with this example 
A normative philosophers may believe that an ideal state is a one where the capital punishment is banned. On the other hand, an empirical thinker may produce a statistical evidence to prove that countries that practice capital punishment shows lower instance of killing than countries where the death penalty is not practiced. So in short, the realistic approach believes in the hard facts and data which have been gathered through the method of scientific approach and not just on assumptions like the normative approach. Now, let us go to the last part of this video which is evaluation of empirical approach. And here we will analyze the empirical approach with criticism and advantages. So let me take first criticism of empirical approach. Critic says that an entirely value free approach is not desirable because civilization would stagnate if political science divorce itself from morality. Second, empirical approach generated a lot of excitement amongst political academics, but now it has failed to deliver on its biggest promise to find a solution to the world problems. Now, let us talk about advantages of empirical approach. Point number one, it has broadened the frontiers of politics. New political terms and phenomena found a place in the study of politics, example power, influence, authority, political behavior, political culture, and etc. Second, it has given scientific orientation to understand politics. It has made research in political science more realistic because of the scientific methods which empirical approach undertake to understand the behavior of humans as well as society. Therefore, subject like voting pattern, election can be more reliably analyzed with the help of care, analysis, interviewing and observation, etc. And last, it has made politics more dynamic. It has enabled political scientists to take their theories beyond political institutions. Today, political scientists focus a lot of attention on the political behavior or individuals and groups. So, my dear viewers, I hope you have understood the normative and empirical theory of political science. So, if you have understood this theory and if you have liked this video, then please give us a like. Please share this video with your friends so that it will help them a lot in their studies. Do post your comment because your comments are very important. And do subscribe to my channel, Political Science Tutorial. Till then. Take care and God bless you all. So, see you soon in next political science tutorial episode.